Hi guys, this is the process of how I made a latch hook rug. I changed the carpet and my room to flooring. I wanted to add an area rug, but there weren't many options for me to choose from. So I figured why not make one? It could be whatever size I wanted, which at the time was a 45 by 5 half foot rug. I went on Amazon and ordered two mesh canvases, latch hooks, and 10 rolls of yarn. I also bought a 5x8 foot rug pad from Ross. Make sure that your yarn isn't too thin. I cut pieces of yarn to be 2.5 inches. I would cut a couple of 20 inch pieces, cut it in half, making it 10 inches, and cut it in half two more times, making it 2.5 inches. I found a better method after my sixth roll of yarn. I cut two pieces of cardboard at two and a fourth of an inch by four inches. I cut a smaller piece at one and a fourth of an inch by three inches. I glued the smaller piece between the two strips. Then I wrapped my yarn around it and held the yarn down before cutting it. To attach the yarn, I used the rows of the canvas that look more durable. I left four rows on all sides. Place the hook under and up one of the squares. The latch should be open. With the yarn under the hook, align the ends to find the center. Pull the hook down slightly so that the yarn can go under the latch. Bring the yarn to one side, up and across. Next pull the hook down and the ends of the yarn should go through the loop created. It should look like a reverse lark's head knot. Continue doing this and make sure that all the knots face the same direction. Since I planned on making a large rug, I knew that I'd need to connect two pieces of mesh canvas. To speed up the process, here's what I started doing. I aligned the ends of the yarn before placing the hook through it. I faced my hook away from the other pieces of yarn, turned it slightly to catch the yarn, and turned it back before pulling the hook through the loop. I attached three or four pieces of yarn, then pulled them all tight at once. After a roll of yarn, I realized that this would take months and I wouldn't have enough yarn. So I decided to make a runner rug that would be 5.5 by 1.5 feet. Halfway through making this, I ordered a shag rug from Target, but I still wanted to finish this rug. So this rug might end up going in another room. I also decided to add a design, but something not too busy. I made double X's and double triangles. I also made this crisscross pattern.
I later changed it because it didn't seem like it matched the other two symbols. So I made double diamonds. It's like the other half of the double triangles and has the double X's in it. I connected the two canvases by overlapping the four rows. With a needle and thread, I combined them with a whip stitch. I stitched two rows and cut off the extra rows. Then I attached the yarn through both layers. For the edges, I folded over two rows and sewed the two layers together using a whip stitch. I cut the corners and overlap the sides. You could do this step at the beginning of making your rug if you already know how big you're going to make it. Next, I latch hook the two rows around all the sides. I ended up using nine rolls of yarn. You definitely should add a rug pad or some kind of grip for this so that it doesn't slide. And here's how it turned out. This took me a month to make. If you decide to try latch hooking, I suggest making a small rug or tapestry. 